In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a table of contents to your document on Google Docs. So this can be done automatically and I'll show you exactly how you can do it. So first, let me undo all of this. Okay, so once you've wrote your document, you want to go ahead and go to the top of the page, go to the very start and click Control Enter. And what that will do is it will create a new page at the start and you can use this page to add your table of contents. So now if you go to insert, you can go all the way to the bottom and you'll see table of contents and you can choose the one with numbers. You can choose whichever one you like. I'm going to choose this one. Now it's going to say add headings, format, paragraph styles, and they will appear in your table of contents. Now what that basically means is you need to go to your headings and you need to make sure that Google Docs knows that they're headings. Now, how do you do that? Well, you highlight the heading. So this heading is going to be introduction to online media evolution. We then go to the text styles. We can then go heading one and we can then apply heading one. That will then change it to a heading one and we can then customize this. I'm just going to make it bold. The shortcut to do this, instead of having to go to all of your headings and then go to text heading one, the shortcut is going to be control alt one. So you can find all of your headings, then go control alt one. It's going to then make it a H1 and I'm going to just highlight it and make it bold. We'll do this for all of the headings. So we'll go control alt one and there you go. That's now a heading. And we need to do this so Google Docs understands what's a heading and what isn't. So now we've done this for all of our headings, we can now go back to the contents page. And here you'll see if you click on it, you'll be able to update it and click on this refresh button. And provided you've told Google Docs what are headings and what aren't headings, you can refresh and there you can see, voila, we have our contents in Google Docs. So that's how you can do it. I hope that helped.